Hello there, it's Andrew Palmer from Elegant Marketplace and Somebody's Hero. One of our very good friends in the Facebook group asked me to do a demonstration of how to do uh, a zoom in and panning effect, i.e. the Ken Burns effect, on a slide in a slider revolution for one of her clients. I'm happy to do that because she's also allowed me to share the uh, lesson, if you like, uh, on Elegant Marketplace and on the Facebook page as well. So before we go in, I'd just like to say thanks for, uh, to Babs for giving me this opportunity and also uh, thanks to the Facebook group for listening. So let's dive in. Right, we're in Slider Revolution and uh, normally when you install this thing, especially the new Slider Revolution, which is amazing, uh, you get a few samples as well. I have imported a classic carousel slider. Now, when you import one of these slides you get with a registered version, you can either download them to your desktop and then upload them again, or you can download them from uh, the repository that Revolution Sliders or Slider Revolution has. So what happens is that the slide is normally full of other slides. Uh, all you have to do is press delete on each one that you don't want to use. There's a couple of other settings as well. So you go into the slide once you've deleted all the slides that you don't want within the carousel slider and then you're left with your Ken Burns effect. Now, as I said the Ken Burns effect is a zoom in or a zoom out or a panning or both uh, and this is what we're demonstrating today. There's a couple of other settings as well so you just go up to here the slider settings and you'll be faced with these kind of things. So general settings we tend to leave alone there's nothing really much that you need uh, on there. I actually don't like the progress, progress bar showing. Um, it kind of interrupts with the design of any kind of websites I'm working on anyway. Uh, and all I need to worry about is the navigation. I don't want arrows, normally that's enabled, so you, all you gotta do is turn them off. Bullets, uh, I don't want them on as well because we're not having navigation on this particular slide. Uh, we don't need tabs, we don't need thumbs, uh, we don't need to make it touch enabled because uh, there's no navigation on it and we don't need any keyboard navigation either. So that's, that's it, those other settings you really don't need to touch because we've imported it and all these settings down here uh, have been set um, already. So that's a good thing. So let's save those settings and go back to our slide editor and let's show you what we've done to create the effect of panning and zooming. And when you look at the image itself, you basically go into here and say, OK, I want an image. You install the image, which is what we've done here. And here it is. Now, the customer actually wanted uh, the image to start at the peak and then finish down to around about here, the snow with that uh, copper um, color there. So that's where we're, what we're wanting to zoom into. So what we've got to do is, if in effect, we've got to make it uh, go, make the image go left and also zoom into that particular area. Uh, now, if you're into any kind of graphic design or any kind of um, illustrator effects, you know about XY um, situations as well. It's much easier in Ken Burns. So what we want to do is we want to zoom it in. So we want to go from 100% to 250% of the size of the image. Now what that means is, is that we have to have a, an image that's a minimum of around about 3000 pixels wide um, and very, very high quality um, because we're obviously zooming in quite a lot. Uh, we want to work with a horizontal um, offset. So I'm putting on the left, I need to go minus 500 uh, to 1000. So basically what I'm saying saying to um, Slider Revolution is I want to zoom in from right to left and I want to go to a particular point which is at, at 1000 offset of a pixel. So, and I've also got a vertical offset because obviously that, that controls the height of where I'm going to zoom in. That's my, my X and Ys that I've got there. I want to go from 0 to 350. And all I do is I save that after obviously I set my duration because I want this to be a nice slow pan. So I save those and there is literally nothing else you have to do. And then you go back to your slider and you press return because you viewed it before. And hopefully you'll see the effect of it coming in. 
and you can see that the image uh, is, with, is within the slider and it's zooming into that snowy area with that copper colored rock there. Obviously the image has to be a, a, a very, very good quality and on this demonstration we're not using a particularly high res version, but I do recommend you um, making the image as big as you possibly can, up to 5,000 pixels wide, uh, going to tinyping.com and uh, reducing it in megabyte or kilobyte size as well. So that's it. That's how you make a slide go from right to left and zoom in on a particular point. So don't forget to join us on elegantmarketplace.com for lots of things like child themes, plugins and some free tutorials. And obviously search uh, Divi Theme Users, the Facebook group, and come and join us there as well, along with 9,000 plus other people. Thanks for listening and we'll speak to you soon.